How are we today, guys? Hope you're all right. And quick video update for you today on ThorChain on Rune. So Rune, we were talking about it previously on the channel. This is the level that we needed to hold. And this is the daily chart that we're on here. Each one of these candles represents one day of price action. So we dropped this level back in November last year, slammed through this level. And we said this was going to act as resistance going forward, which it did several times. One, two, three. And last week in crypto, had a bit of a spike and rune is no exception so top to bottom over the last week from that swing low to swing high 44 percent on rune from the total swing low of this move to the swing high 82 percent. so rune's done pretty good in its own right not as much as some of the other old coins some of the other old coins are exploding so how can we measure When's a good time as a confirmation buy for Rune? So simple trend line, don't get much more simple than this. We can stick that on Rune and this is the area that we want to break. So what are the clues have we got? We could stick the moving averages on there and you can see that Rune hasn't actually broken the 200 moving average. In fact, quite the opposite. We're getting a reaction now on this. So you can see at some point price actions pushed all the way past the 200 moving average and we've got this rejection candle here which is currently playing out. So expect a bit of a pullback on Rune. What we want is this $1.41, which was previous resistance back here, turn around and flip support. Come back then, and then we'll probably hover around the moving average, but ultimately we want to re-break, moving average, hold above it, break the trend line, confirmation, and then there's a high probability that we're good to go on the back of that. So if we are good to go, what levels, what price action levels can we look at? So we'll stick an extension tool on from this move here. Back to the bottom. And there's a few levels here that stand out to me. You got your 1272, which coincides with this high here. That's sitting at $2 exactly, psychological number that's highly likely it's going to act as resistance. So you've got your 1618. See how these Fibonacci levels respected previously look. You've got your 1618. That's sitting at $2.20, nearly $2.21. And then you've got your 2618 sitting all the way at the top here. 2618 is $2.78. So Target levels, if you do get confirmation, don't forget we need a pullback from here. You want to pull back, act as confirmation at the $1.41, and then you want to come back, your break of the 200-day moving average and a break of the trend line, and then you should see some price action going forward from room from that point. So wait for the pullback, guys, see what happens, and we'll monitor that together. 